and that the Fed stands ready to help out in any way it can, whether it be a backstop for lending, uh, helping out uh, corporations that might need liquidity uh, or markets that might le need liquidity. So it's much ado about nothing, you know. So he's in these Utah talks, he's not giving a Jerome Powell's not getting a ton of insight and the markets are responding accordingly where initially it was seen as positive, but I think we've already priced this into the market. We talked about this a little bit over a week ago where, uh, you know, certain things uh, with the COVID aspects and recovery and or uh, if you look at the employment numbers today uh, are being priced into the market, are being digested into the market. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, eh. but once again, the markets really don't care about any one policy or any one presence or any one thing. There is supply, there is demand, and that's how the markets uh, react accordingly. Obviously, news affects it and affects it accordingly, but not to the degree of any one thing, uh, unless it's something in fundamentally speaking in the United States right now. And a lot of times in the summer, the big boys go away and they go on their vacations and they do the things that they want to do with family and all that stuff. So, but you will see a few key players moving markets around and doing so for their uh, advantage. So for argument's sake, if there are uh, specific sectors that they want to get into or poise themselves better for the fall and when sell-offs will start to occur where they start taking profits or declaring losses at the end of September, beginning of October to declare uh, for the year. This is the time now that they're getting set up for that. So that's what I see happening. There's no big bets per se that are taking place at this point. And at the same time, Time you just have to remember that uh, we're heading into the last two weeks of August. I don't really see any big decisions or big uh, uh, areas to go into with any sort of conviction because of the uncertainty that's going on uh, with the presidential race, with what's going on around the world, and with the pandemic. Basically, what the SEC is saying is uh, they're allowing a bigger interpretation of what an accredited investor is. Uh, before, it was limited to a certain income amount and a certain asset amount. And now they are widening that definition from what I've read. Now, the ink is still not dry on this. They can go and make further changes and further comments on this. But everybody is agreeing that this is going to make the markets uh, that for accredited investors much wider and much deeper so more people will be getting into uh, different private placements and uh, different uh, markets that were exclusively for one set of investment uh, tier and now that that is going to change it just remains to be seen how it's going to affect the bigger markets overall, if at all. It's interesting, uh, we're starting to see, you know, Walmart I think is the bigger news because both Walmart and Microsoft together as part of group going to go in and buy TikTok is a much bigger conglomerate, a much more opportunity, and they can go and gobble up 10 TikToks if they felt like it because they're just that big. Uh, I find it, interesting from the sense that Walmart is trying to position themselves with a younger temp demographic in my opinion because TikTok is really for you know uh, ages 30 and below you know and it's easy to use and I find that it's interesting that Walmart will you know along with Microsoft will be putting their own stamp should they acquire the company putting their own stamp on this and allow you know allowing tiktok to kind of say okay we have our, our freedom to a point but at the same time our bosses are going to say otherwise and we might see some interesting uh cross marketing opportunities with walmart and microsoft with a with a, a purchase tiktok
that, you know, it's a good question. And the, the answer is, it's not a simple answer. I mean, there are many things that could conceivably be here. Uh, different type of marketings. Uh, of course, Walmart and Microsoft could say, you know what, we're going to make this part of our applications, you know, uh, going forward our new offerings, uh, Walmart being, if they have a particular uh, marketing strategy for the new year, they might take that up. But this is all big speculation because there are many groups vying for TikToks right now. And uh, we don't know who is going to be the winner in this. We definitely know TikTok is gonna be the winner cash-wise and money-wise, but we, do, we don't know how these companies are going to use it for their strategic advantage at this point. And it's going to be very interesting to see what they can come up with. And I'm sure they're going to come up with some really good stuff. A lot more people are paying attention to the market right now. I mean, from their March lows, we're up over 30% in the market. And uh, that also has to do, there are a lot of people entering in as they're doing trades, you know, on, on particular securities when they were really more focused on their work and what have you. So uh, you, you do have this new type of trader entering in and they might be working with a Charles Schwab or a TD, which is now part of Schwab or Fidelity and doing their trading that way. And that will have an effect on the market and push it up as a matter of fact, because we're seeing new players coming into the fold and sometimes these small players become big players some of them become hedge funds some of them become uh you know private institutions that go and make significant investments so it can put be, be the precursor to pushing up the market that has traditionally been kind of slow and aimless during the summer months and with really no certainty with no direction and all of a sudden we're seeing this people are coming in buying and selling more and heading into the autumn heading into the fall with much more conviction and i would start to see that probably towards mid september to late september so a little bit of a difference going on okay